Hi, I'm Monica and let's talk about goals for 2023. This video will be split up into two parts. The first part will be my 2022 year in review for my reading and booktube goals that I made last year. And then the second part is going to be my new goals for 2023. Let's just hop into my 2022 review. So first up with my reading goals, my first reading goal that I set was to read 52 books and I ended up reading 68 books in 2022, which was fantastic. I'm really happy about that number. And I do keep like an Excel sheet about all the books I've read. And I'll pull up the graph that I have here of how many books a month I've read and like see the patterns throughout the year. So starting in January, you can see I started off quite strong with eight books in January, but then it goes into a downward <laughs> trajectory until April. And then throughout the spring and summer months, it goes up again in an upward trajectory. And then it drops a little bit in September. And I maintain about four to six books per month for the rest of the year. It will be interesting to see how my reading patterns or the number of books that I do end up reading throughout the year changes. So I think I will continue to do like this tracking for this coming up year. My second reading goal was to read at least 26 books that I physically own and 26 because that's half of 52, which was my reading goal. And looking at another graph on my Excel sheet, you can see on this graph here, I don't have like the actual numbers, but I'll say it to you. So 34% I read books that I do own physically. So that's 24 books. And then I've read a lot of books from the library actually. I read 22 books from the library and that's around 31%. And I do tend to borrow a lot of ebooks rather than physical books because it's just easier. And then in third place for where I read my books from is 24% from NetGalley, which is interesting because I do I do get um e-arcs from NetGalley quite often. With that being said, I'm still quite impressed. I read 24 books out of the, my desired goal of 26 books of books that I do own already. Although I have so many more books that I need to tackle. Let's see if I, that happens in 2023. And my third goal was to read more outside of fantasy. Of course, I will still read a lot of fantasy and that's what happened. And I'm going to put another graph on the screen. You can see that I've read mostly fantasy at 38.6% and that would be equivalent to 27 fantasy books which is not a surprise to me because that's still my favorite genre to read and I tend to just pick up more fantasy in general. And then my second most read genre was actually romance at 18.6% with 13 romance books. I did end up picking up Quite a lot of rom-coms and just uh, romance books in general last year because they just seem like a fun lighthearted type of read and I really love reading about a couple getting together. And then at third place is 13% was mystery with nine books. That's not bad I would say but even though I think I categorized the inheritance games trilogy as a mystery <laughs> because I don't really know what to categorize that series so I think that added free books to that category but still I read quite a lot more mystery books as well. Then onto my booktube goals and my first booktube goal for 2022 was to upload 52 videos throughout the entire year so that would be one video per week at least and I actually quite surprised myself and I did count this and I uploaded 67 videos in 2022 which is insane to me and I'm so proud of myself for making that goal and being really consistent to that schedule of uploading at least once a week. It did take me some time like so a struggle here and there to figure out the kings of maintaining YouTube throughout the year but I was really happy to see that I was consistent and I'm quite happy to be here on YouTube and commit to this because making videos is a hobby and I find it really fun to just talk about books out loud and like record myself and what I think about whatever I have read. My second book to goal for 2022 was to upload more intentional videos I would watch myself and I think I would say I did achieve this goal because I started to upload more reading vlogs with the focus being only on one book i also did a tv show reaction to the first season of shadow and bone and i also uploaded more detailed in-depth book reviews and i'll say for myself i had fun making all those videos 
I would say continuing into 2023, I want to explore like different types of videos. Moving on to my new goals for 2023. My first goal is going to be the same as 2022. So my Goodreads reading challenge will be set at 52 books, one book a week, and that's quite manageable for me to maintain. And I think I'm still making good progress on this goal already. I've already read three books and that's apparently two books ahead of schedule. So making good progress already. And then my second goal isn't too exciting, but it's to put myself on a book buying ban. And my reasoning for this is that I don't have much space to put more books onto my shelves. And I think I need to do a massive unhaul because there are select books that I look at them and then I'm like, um, I don't really feel like picking you up. I do want to end up using more of my local library for books that I intend to read through their ebook system and also physical books that they do have because I do have a quite nice local library system and it's quite convenient. So that's one way to also save money is to be on a book buying ban. There are exceptions to this goal and that's buying books that I already own that are in a series. So if there's like a new installment of a series coming out, that's an exception to this book buying ban. And also for really, really most anticipated books, and that includes a pre-order I already made, which is Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare, her first adult fantasy book. So that's excluded because I think I pre-ordered it like the first week of January. And I'm making these goals a little bit later into the month, but I'm still gonna count that as an exception. And my third reading goal is to complete book series. And that's including book series I've already started and book series that I've been wanting to read for quite a while. I have many series that I want to finish and this includes like the Jade City series by Fonda Lee. I'm planning to read the second book in February, which I did include in my February TBR as well. I also wanted to tackle the Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemison. This includes like the fifth season in all of those books. This is an adult fantasy and I've heard so many good things about this series. I just want to see what the hype is about. This other book is one that has been waiting for me to read it. It's A Sky Beyond the Storm by Saba Tahir, which is book four in the Ember in the Ashes series. This was also on my list last year and I didn't manage to tackle it, but I'm determined to read it this year. And I also wanted to read the Second Era Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. And the first book in the series is The Aloy of Law, I think it's called. And it's four books in the series and it takes place 300 years after the events of the original Mistborn trilogy. So I would be really interested to see how this magical world adapts into like more modern technology because I think they use guns in the second era of this porn series. My fourth goal for 2023 is a booktube related one. This one is to explore different types of videos that I may make and I'm not really sure just yet what I intend to make but I think I will need to do like a couple brainstorming sessions. I think maybe it will be writing related or another type of bookish video but Let's see when that happens. And my last and final fifth goal for 2023 is more of a lifestyle related one. And this one is to have a better balance within my life, balancing between like work, school, hobbies, relationships, friends, family, and also like alone time. I feel like in 2022, I would be focusing so much on one thing and then all the other areas in my life would be neglected. So I really want to do better in balancing me time and like my professional responsibilities, my hobbies and everything else. I think that's a good overarching lifestyle rule, which would encompass more detailed things, but I don't really want to go into that. <laughs> and I think those are my five overall goals for 2023. I'm really excited for this year. I think this year will be quite packed, jam-packed with things. And I do hope I end up achieving all of these goals that I set out for myself with goals and like New Year's resolutions. I think of it more as a gradual change is better than a race against time. So let's see how I do throughout the year. 
and adapting some changes in my life and on reading and booktube and with all that being said i did want to say thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell to be notified of my next uploads and i'll see you all in my next video bye